What's up, Freestyle? I have some questions about the game, but before I ask some questions, I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Jordan. Y'all may remember me from the forums. My last account, or my last, yeah, my last account name was uh, Drake with the dots in between it, but I lost the password or the information for that account, and I don't remember the password to get into the email because the only reason I made that email was to have a name I liked for the forums. Well, now I got that out of the way, I'd like to ask some questions. Uh, the questions about the game are about four or five. All right, let's get started with them. One, which character is the cheapest to maintain? I had uh, made a Ford last time. His name was Sincere SF. I was playing on like a small Ford. But then I thought about it, and I was like, how much is it going to cost to maintain this guy? Even before I lost the kind of information, I stopped at like level 10. I really want that grade. My win percent for like 60, 55, and that was half the reason because I played with someone off the forum. I can't remember who it was to play with him. Um, so yeah, if you answer that question, that'd be nice. Number two, which is the easiest to learn and master? I mean, when I was trying to play Ford, it wasn't too hard. The hardest thing probably about it was learning that Kuji. However you say that word, I think it means twist in Korean or whatever. That was probably one of the hardest, and uh, no one when pass out of double teams, you just have that at core vision. I started getting that out of the play, but then the rebounding was a problem, so I had the Kuji going, and I had the court vision, but I could never rebound the ball if my center didn't get it. So, yeah. The question was, which is the easiest to learn and master? Because, you know, you won't play the game as much as you would like with work, college, and social life going on. Uh, three, I believe would be should a power level I remember this game isn't really populated which it should be because it's very unique it's the only basketball MMO out there as I know of and uh, it has that RPG elements where your attributes go up every level you have to have a certain level of climate for the skills and that's just something you can work forward to it's pretty fun that's good to have something you can work towards so this game should uh, have more publicity than it does and I uh, believe four question left in the final a name that won't get me kicked um, I've seen people get kicked just because of their name. They would comment like, oh, I kicked him because his name was Noob, and I don't know what names are Noob. I mean, I believe the ones I saw get kicked the most was ones that had NBA player name like XXXO Kobe xx 24 8 or something ridiculous like that, which I can kind of understand that because this game isn't realistic at all. It isn't anything I've ever done. And, um, second reason for making this video, once I ever get established in this game, have a great skill base, learn enough to know enough to give on to others and show the game and make videos and uh, try to get the population up on this game because I would really like that this game to stay around because I would like to learn, master it, and uh, become good, make some uh, make some acquaintances on here and everything like that. It'll be, it seems like a pretty fun game to play. I've loved basketball ever since I was little, so maybe I would like this if I ever get good. Well, I believe that's all. I have to ask, that's all I had to say, so uh, hit me up under wherever I post this video at with the answers to my questions or any tips you believe I should be enlightened to because all the knowledge you can have is great. Um, the more experience, the better. Alright, peace.